most at first, and then I'll and then I'll pull a couple of different additional ones. Um, the reason is, and I just it's, I think it'll be easier to see if I throw if I pull a, a handle that's slightly larger. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this slightly. Um, most handles um, are going to be much more comfortable if they're if they're somewhat flattened. Um, you know, the only handle that um, that you can get away with kind of being perfectly round is, is a big handle, you know, it's something that you're grabbing with your whole hand. All right, any kind of a like a coil round, perfectly round coil handle, something that you're going to pick up one finger, two fingers, is going to it's going to want to twist in your hand, right? And if you've ever picked up a mug like that, um, it's annoying. It's got these great big green commercial made things at home, and they've got these extruded like perfectly round coil handles, and and you can't hold these things. I mean, they're just they're a nightmare to try to hold, and so and so they never get. They I should. They're just sitting in the back of the. So anyway, so I start by, by tapering it, right, and then I flatten it slightly. And then as I, any handle that I, I pull, um, because my hand is not symmetrical, right, I'm going to pull a few times in this direction, and then I'll go and I'll pull the other direction, okay, just to try to keep it even, right. And my recommendation is to always kind of pull it, and then you get a sense of how stiff the clay is. Right, and then and then you can start to thin it out a little more quickly. You also want to make sure that you're coming all the way off of the bottom. If you don't, what will happen is you'll wind up with a little clump of clay here at the base, and as you pull down, you're going to wind up pulling that little piece off anyway. The other technique that you can use to thin is sometimes I'll go between my fingers this way to kind of thin it. Okay. So this is starting to look very much like what would be called a, a just like a basic strap handle, right? There's nothing, you know. It's just kind of a, it just kind of you know, tapers slightly, it just kind of comes down. No, no, you know, nothing fancy about it, no grooves or anything. Uh, basically known as, as like a strap handle. Uh, if you wanted to, to do grooves or if you wanted to put something into it, uh, generally use my thumb for that. All right, so once I get it to about the thickness that I want, then I'd put my thumb in. If I wanted to have one come down the center, I would just start to push it with my thumb like that. Um, if you wanted to do multiple, you can then go in on the side. And then the last thing that I'll do is I'll always kind of just go back over it one time, just like this, because those edges can get very sharp, right? If you watched the video the other day, when I showed you, he talked about that mug that he picked up and it had that little groove, it's kind of sharp. Um, Boy, the first set of real mugs that I made, boy, was I proud of them, I made them, put the handles on, I trimmed them, I fished them, I glazed them, I got them out of the glaze kiln. And man, you couldn't pick these things up. It was so sharp right here um, because I had done this little groove in it. So I will always just kind of one time down just to kind of soften that edge. So then this would, if I was, uh, you know, going to pull this separately and then attach it, that would get put aside and then... It would, I would let it get a little bit better hard and attach it. Okay. So now I'll do one that is... I'll do one more that's a little bit smaller, more kind of mug size. And then I'll attach one directly to the to the mug. No, I think I'm gonna kind of flattening it. So 
So again, I kind of start out this thing slowly, and you center how hard or how soft the clay is. You need to make sure that you have plenty of water. And if you, if, if the, you know, just like when you're throwing, you know, if you don't, you don't use enough water, you start to drag. Same thing will happen. I'm going to attach one like that. That part won't be very attached. 